Youth Runner here with Granite Bay star Grace Baxter. Uh, we're at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational. Just completed the second of, uh, of two girls varsity races, 1642 uh, for fourth overall, but obviously in hot pursuit uh, of the, uh, at least the, the back two of the Montgomery Trio uh, in, in front. Obviously you're running uh, your race, but especially like in, uh, in the last, you know, kilometer, you know, last half mile, you were really, you know, uh, you know closing the gap on yeah. uh, on Sila and, and Omri. Uh, you know, how how much are you trying to like use them? You know, but, but also just you know staying true to who Grace Baxter is and run your race. Yeah, I mean, I typically try to use the girls around me to help pace um, off of like what I'd like to do. Like if I see someone in front of me, I want to chase after them. I want to do the best that I can. And if I feel I can go after them, you know, I'm gonna go after them. And they were really nice to have in front of me just to push me uh, harder to go faster and everything. So. Yeah. Obviously, you know, even when Bob Thompson says that this is not a fast course, yeah. you know, so, I mean, obviously it's a strength course, you know, uh, and obviously you are very much, uh, you know, a, a program that, uh, that you know, th uh, thrives on the tougher courses. Uh, but how good is it to kind of have this test, you know, in in early, you know in early September, Grace, you know, um, just to kind of you know really kind of give an affirmation of what that fitness has looked like over the summer. Honestly, I think it's a really great course to test that because especially there's two I'd say bigger hills um, throughout the course, but it's a good course because it really has everything. You got grass, you got sand, you have dirt, you have like some cement, like um, so it's a really great course to test that because you're getting a little bit of everything. So yeah, most definitely. Obviously, you know, I mean. No, I mean, outside of, you know, a little bit of a breeze, which, you know, creates a little bit of a, you know, uh, I wouldn't even go as far as say a headwind, you know, but just, you know, some some challenges at certain parts of the course, but obviously in comparison, you know, to, uh, to the rest of the state, you know, everybody would love to be at Golden Gate Park oh, today. I, you know, I, I, how how significant what was that just in terms of like, you know, how good you felt, you know, in the, in the, in the second and, and, you know, and, and whatever was left in that third mile and just like how much you felt like you could, you could really, uh, you know, attack in that second half of the race. Um, honestly, I think the weather made it so much easier just to push in the, um, at the end of the race because when it's hot, I feel like you're kind of just getting down on yourself. You're just like, oh, it's so hot outside. My feet are burning and everything. And it's like, oh, I really want to go faster, but it's really difficult. But with this weather, it's honestly really nice because you can just go and you have the nice wind at your back sometimes to push you harder and everything. So, yeah. Most often. In, uh, in terms of you know, just not only you doing it by action and in workouts and, and, and races, but just you know, I've always loved the chemistry and the camaraderie of this group, and especially the, you know the ones that you've grown up with. Mm -hmm. uh, just how, how significant is that in terms of like just you know how this group is is forming its identity, you know, and forming its chemistry this early in the season? Um, I think it's great. We have a lot of girls who've been who injured recently, so having a lot of our younger girls step up to you know help us and push us forward and you know them getting the experience on varsity and everything it's it's great it's great to know that we have such a strong team and you know when people are down we have other people to come in and you know help us out and yeah such a deep group yeah we have a really deep group and i think that's great and and i even asked you know hana and, and sila and omri right because they're trying to find a four and five i mean you're not going to find many trios in the entire state let yeah. alone you know let alone northern california that are better than uh, than them but obviously you have to have a fourth and fifth score yeah. if you want to contend for, uh, for a team title the fact that you know that you have those resources certainly by the time we get to you know november we want the entire granite bay roster to be healthy yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you ladies can, uh, can go after it at section and state uh but just knowing that there are those resources there knowing that it's not just a group of five or seven it's 10 it's 12 or whatever like that like how uh you know how uplifting is that or encouraging is that that like you know the people are going to have an opportunity to, to really fill roles or maybe take on greater roles than they even thought were possible yeah i think it's really great and encouraging um yeah especially because like sometimes you can as a team we can all really get down on ourselves We're like oh one of our really great amazing girls went down but we have someone else to help us out and everything so yeah awesome uh, wishing you and the group uh, you know, great health. Obviously getting every, uh, everybody back in the lineup that you want to uh, by the time October and November uh, roll around. Fantastic effort today. Congratulations. Thank you.